Every time I try to come out here, I have such good intentions. I was like, well, maybe if I just clean, I'll want to try to get some stuff done because I have so much stuff I got to do. I have so much thing, so many things <laughs> that I have planned um, that I haven't got started yet. So now I feel so behind and it's making me stressed, which isn't good since I just got out of the hospital for my heart. Life is weird like that. One minute you're just moving along fine. You're like, I'm 41. Everything's fine. Nothing will happen. And next thing you know, you're in the ER and they have to flip you upside down. So that way your heart can stop pounding so hard. <laughs> But I am over a week of being out of the hospital. I got out last Thursday. I don't even know what day it is. I don't even know what's happening right now. Not even a week. And then I had to have a heart ablation um, last week as well, along with all kinds of other testing. But it's just, it's just crazy how it happens like that sometimes. But, you know, um, every time I try to come in here to try to get something done, I'm like, I keep telling myself, go sit down. No, you know, go, go sit down, go relax, go, go sit down because I've been doing this wholeheartedly for years now. You know, this is my business. This is, I, I'm in charge of my business. I'm in charge of shipping things out. I'm in charge of getting my videos done. I'm in charge of all this. So, you know, the thought of being behind kind of stresses me out just a little bit, but I think this for me was a, a huge eye-opener on just how I do need to calm down. <laughs> I do need to take it a little bit slower. Um, I do need to take time to go on walks. I, I do need to take time to, to make sure I'm okay. So that way this can run properly. So that way my, my kids have their mom in the future. So that way their kids have their dad in the future. Jack came over to give me a hug. I think he sensed my tension. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So I cleaned up out here. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. I cleaned up out here. As I get time, I will come out here and, and do the things I need to do. I do have things like videos already ready to go. So it's like, should I post it? I don't even know. Should I, should I do that? I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna pause that for a minute. I think I'm gonna pause it for a minute. I think I'm going to just kind of finish wrapping up what I got to do out here and then I got to get the kids up for a new day. Today's actually Molly's birthday. She's 12 today. So we're going to be celebrating her birthday this weekend and spring breaks this weekend. So that's exciting. But I got to give a big shout out to my husband. He he went in there and he did his thing. He did both of our parts. He did my what I usually do plus what he does and and, and did it. So this, this house was very well taken care of while it was gone, and I'm so thankful to have a partner um, that can do that for me. That's, I'm just incredibly thankful. We have lots of follow-up appointments. I have to go see a cardiologist. I have to go see a regular doctor. I have to get um, just all kinds of stuff. So I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll take you guys along with that if you're interested about being a heart patient. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, we should probably get the, the kids up and get rolling here. I'll talk to you guys more about what happened to me and all that in the video. All right, so let's go. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. All right, we're up. I told everybody how it's the day. It's Molly's birthday today. So Jeff got up early. We're gonna put up her, the decorations really quick. And when she gets up, she'll see her decorations and everything. But I already told them that we're not celebrating until this weekend, but, but well, still. She was, she was already asking yesterday, I know. where's the decorations? <laughs> All right, so we'll put up the decorations today. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Uh, fringe banner. Yeah. Yeah. Paper fans. Yep. Those are always good to hang from the ceiling. Yep. Uh, oh, you're gonna have 
Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> Daisy Bloom kit. I gotta blow those up. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Got <laughs> the tablecloth. Yeah. Happy birthday, man. All right. All right, Molly's decorations are up. We got them all together. Everybody's up for school. Can you say hello? Hey. Hello. But Jeff's just gonna come home and pick them up because he's dropping Sadie off because we have, as you guys know, one in preschool, elementary, middle school, and high school. So <laughs> we have everywhere we gotta go to drop the kids off. So just waiting on daddy to get back to yeah. bring them to school. And we're gonna get our day going. Yeah. <laughs> so the birthday girl's up. So obviously daddy and I do have a present for you. Um, do you want it today or do you want it when we celebrate on Friday? Uh, I want it today. Okay, so you're not gonna get that till later on this afternoon after school. Aww. All right, we'll open it up later on. Does that sound good? Okay. okay. All right, so <laughs> we already, the kids are at school. Charlotte already came back. <laughs> we already went on our walk, we already had lunch and Jeff's already on his way back to kind of go pick everybody up. So our day is already almost complete here. So I just kind of took the day to just sit with the family like I've been doing all week. Again, trying to relax the best that I can. I I'm doing my best here. It is very, very difficult for me to sit down and not do too much. It's very hard. <laughs> So last week I was, I was sound asleep and I woke up to my heart. Like it felt like this, exactly what it felt like in my chest. I could feel it radiating all throughout my body because it was pumping so hard and a little bit of backstory. Um, pretty much as far back as I can remember, I've always had like my heart would do flutters. You know, ha have you guys ever had that where your heart kind of fluttered or something like, I don't know, maybe I'm weird like that. I don't know. Maybe it's a sign of the future. I don't really know. But my son my heart would always kind of have that little flutter from time to time and it would go away. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, I've noticed probably this last year, um, it's been a little bit more strenuous. Um, my heart, the, the feeling in it is a little bit more strenuous than, than it had been over the years. Um, and I've noticed that I'm, I'm a lot more tired than I, I typically would be doing the things that I do. Cause I like, I mow the grass. I, I, you know what I mean? I do all kinds of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And just lately it just, I thought maybe it was just this time in my life. I'm like, maybe I'm just going, I'm about to be going through menopause or something. I don't really know. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I thought that's just what it was. Um, but last week I woke up and my heart was just racing. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna, I tried flipping over to one side, didn't go away, flipped over to the other, didn't go away. I thought maybe if I got up and walked around, nothing, nothing worked. I didn't know if it was a heart attack because you know, it's different for everybody, that kind of thing. I didn't know if I was having a panic attack or an you know, anxiety attack. I didn't know quite, didn't know quite what was going on. All I knew is that I didn't want to wake Jeff up just for the sole purpose of what if this is nothing? But I'm so happy that I did because it turned out to be a lot of stuff and it could have potentially turned into something a lot worse than it was. So I wake him up, um, you know, I don't even know. I think it was almost midnight around then. It was between 11 and midnight. You know, we go to the hospital and I'm sitting in the waiting room and it was just, it was very painful. In my, it was very painful. It still hurts a little bit. And then when they called me back, the lady, who was the nurse who was uh, doing everything was just kind of like, oh, you know, like she kind of had this shock look on her face, like, are you able to walk? And I'm like, yeah, you know, <laughs> we get back into the back and I all of a sudden there was a lot of people in my room with me all at once. And they're all looking at me kind of in shock, I think, that I was able to walk around and do the things I was doing because my heart rate was 250. I, I think that's what it was. I have to ask Jeff, but it, it was about 250. So, and they were all looking at me like, my heart was gonna explode any second and I didn't realize it was that serious. They didn't want to treat me with medicine. They didn't want to treat me with anything like that. There was, they said they wanted to try a few things first before they had to go into like shocking my heart and you know, like giving me medicine and shocking my heart type thing. So they, they wanted to try a few things first. So what they did was, I can't remember what it's called. 
I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called, but they made me bear down. So I had to blow into this tube really, really hard. And then um, they flipped me backwards. Like they laid the bed down flat really fast and then they flipped my legs up in the air. <laughs> and I, whew, yeah, that was quite the experience, but um, it worked and it brought my heart rate down to about 130. So, which was better than what it was, way better than what it was. So they ran a bunch of tests and they all came back super high for, you know, the, um, your heart muscle releases stuff, enzymes. And if it does that, then that was like signs of, it could have been a heart attack or something. So they took it then, of course it was elevated because my heart was just in distress. And then they waited two hours to do it again and it still showed elevated signs. Instead of it going down, it was pretty much kind of going up still with the with what it, it said. So the doctor there didn't feel good about me going home, which I'm, I'm glad she didn't because, you know, I, I ended up having to have an ablation in the end. I'll, I'll talk more about that in a second. But um, so they decided to keep me in the hospital. I had to be transported by ambulance there. So that was my first time in an ambulance, you know, I'm just saying <laughs> my, fr my first ambulance ride. <laughs> oh my, see, you gotta laugh, right? You gotta laugh about it. Cause if not, you know, you, you don't want that other side of it, right? You just, you gotta take life as, as it comes. That's, that's how I feel about it. You can't, I, I, cr I did enough crying already, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, is pretty much how I feel. And of course at my hospital visit they ran, or hospital stay rather, cause I was there what, for what felt like an eternity. <laughs> they did echocardiograms, e EKGs. Um, they did a whole, a whole slew of tests and of course blood work as well. Um, and I've had, I had numerous doctors come see me. Gosh, just like hordes of doctors came to, be like, hi, you know, I do this, and this is what I think you have. And But in, in the end, they said, I, f I, ha I have to read it because of, uh, I can't pronounce it without it. They said I have a form of SVT, which is super, super ventricle, hold on, I can, I can say this, super ventricle tachycardia, okay? So I'm just reading this off the paper for you guys, for anybody who doesn't know what that is. It's just a kind of abnormally fast heart rhythm it's a problem with the electrical system. So it's pretty much like my heart, my heart's electrical system just isn't running properly. And it's just, I guess it just kind of caught up with me. So there's actually three different types of SVTs. Um, there's like a common one. There's, um, th anyways, there's like three different kinds. So I don't really know for sure which one I, I particularly have. And I honestly don't even know if that's for sure what I have, because you know, when they see you in the hospital, they have to hurry up and be like, something's going on. So, I mean, there could be other things, but all I know is the cardiologist recommended that I have an ablation. An ablation is where they go in through an artery, they go in through an artery, um, you know, down, down below. <laughs> I don't wanna say that. <laughs> they go in through an artery and with a little like tube and then they go all the way up to your heart. How can I explain this? <laughs> so our heart needs electricity, right? It, it pumps, it needs electricity. That, that's what gets it going. What was happening was, uh, I guess my electricity was just, didn't know what to do with itself. And so it was just go. So when I would feel those flutters and when I felt that last flutter, I just didn't know what to do. It was like, I'm stuck. Where do I go? Where do I go? It was stuck. Um, <laughs> instead of it's finding its way out and going through the rest of my body like it should, like a normal heart would do. So that ablation pretty much goes in and it zaps these points where these electrical currents could possibly get stuck and get lost and all that. So it goes in and zap, 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 it carterizes these areas. So that way when the, elect the electricity gets to that point, it's like, oh wait, oh right, I need to go this way, not go back around again. Pretty much, I, I don't know how else to explain it, Hopefully that helps. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I had that done. Am I one? Do I feel one hundred percent after um, almost a week? It hasn't. It hasn't quite been. No, I don't. And of course, it might take some time. I still have to see the cardiologist again. I have to see the electrophysiologist. I think is what he is. He's the one that just does the electrical stuff on hearts. Anyways, I have to see him and then I have to see a regular doctor. I still have to see all these people. 
Um, hopefully they can, because my heart, my heart rate is still extremely high. It's still pretty high. So, but I've been going on, I asked the doctor before I left, I said, what can I do? You know, obviously I need to exercise more. I need to take better care of me I, is what I need to do. But I asked the doctor before I left, I was like, can I go on walks? So every day I've been going on just real light walks, nothing too crazy because again, I did have that, um, that worked on. So to close the artery, it's like this little metal piece and you know, you don't want that to bust open. So, you, you know, I can't lift and all that. And I have felt not dizzy, but I definitely just don't feel right. So my husband's been home all this week driving and doing still, but I'm here. So I am still able to be in the house and, and helping out the best that I can as far as that goes. So ease up on him just a little bit because running such a large, large household is very tiring. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's what happened to me. That's what's going on with me. <laughs> But you know, it is what it is. Like I said earlier, I'm just gonna deal with it. We're gonna move along. My favorite thing to do is sit around and, and think about the absolute worst that could possibly happen at all given times. And I have to not do that. What I'm gonna do is focus on my children. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is continue to focus on my children. I'm gonna continue to focus on my husband. I'm gonna focus on getting myself better. So again, like I said earlier to you guys, I can be here for a long time to come. I know I got this, right? I got this. All right, well, I have to get dinner going, so let's go do that. You made some. You're making something for Molly. Yeah. What are you making her? I'm making Hello Kitty. A Hello Kitty. Mm -hmm. A Hello Kitty plush of you. Mm -hmm. I think she's gonna absolutely love it. Yep. You're hand making it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, how could she not love it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you you keep working on that. She should be home in a little bit. I got dinner going for tonight. I'm gonna have broccoli. Can quinoa am i saying that right quinoa i don't know anyways we're having that and chicken cordon bleu so that's what we're doing for dinner tonight just just a just a quick little thing we're not celebrating or anything like that because that's going to be when um friday on the weekend. yeah friday friday yeah <laughs>